Well, finally, we have Mr. Israel Good News Balugu, uh, a courageous man, a man who believes in standing up for something. He has just been released from the custody of the special of the, the first criminal investigation intelligence and investigation department FCII in Abuja over the petition filed by Apostle Johnson Suleiman, the founder of Omega Fire Ministries, who had petitioned the police and got him arrested over alleged defamation, over alleged cyber stalking, for challenging, for discrediting, for contesting, devouring and debunking his very questionable claims of commanding angels to appear mysteriously to deposit monies in the bank accounts of people. So today we are happy that we have been able to secure his release. He spent the night in custody, which was not necessary. But this is also to remind Nigeria that we have a voice and we should always speak out when there is need to do so. No matter who is involved, this is a message to say that nobody is above the law in this country. And as I've always maintained, we are not afraid of going to court. We are not afraid of prosecution. We are not afraid of the powers of the state. Because we believe that one with the law is the majority. And our client is on the side of the law. As far as we are concerned, he has not committed any criminal offense. What he did was essentially an exercise of his constitutional right to freedom of expression. As guaranteed under section 39 the 1999 constitution. People have said, well, some of the things he said was offensive. Hello? Some of the things he said was abusive. But what they do not understand is that the right to freedom of expression is useless if we are only allowed to say things that are pleasant to people. Mm -hmm. Freedom of expression means that I can say things that will offend you. That is why I am allowed to express myself. If I'm only allowed to praise you or to say things that are patronizing, then that is not freedom of expression. And this was the point that the Court of Appeal made. Very correctly so, in the case of state Bezos Clement Wankwa, to the fact that Nigerian citizens have the right to express themselves either in a pleasant manner or in an unpleasant manner. So the language of expression may be pleasant, it may also be unpleasant. This is the judgment of the Court of Appeal. So those who are saying, oh, why did you call him this? And they are saying it was defamatory. What they do not also know is that in the law of defamation, truth is an absolute defense. Justification is an absolute defense. So when a man says I have been defamed, he's putting his character on trial. He's saying that I have character that has been defamed. That is why the question still remains. When a man of God stands on the pulpit and claims to command angels to appear and credit to his account, is that a statement of truth? No. If it is not true, is that a, is that a statement of falsehood? Yes. yes. So, is a liar a man of character? No. That's the point. So, before you say you have character, do not forget that that character will put back. Which is why we are saying that we will be very happy to meet in court if you are here. So that those angels can enter the mailbox and testify. And we can cross examine them on the bank of heaven where the money is kept. <laughs> and I will also say again that and I made this point before that Nigeria is going through a lot of financial issues. So I am reiterating my call to the president of Nigeria to send a delegation by, led by the Minister of Finance to meet Apostle Suleiman for him to command those angels to send money to the federation account and to the treasury single account to assist the country. The government is facing a lot of challenges. Even to pay salary now is a problem. Even to execute project, the government has to rely on China. So if we have a, a, an apostle in Nigeria that has a capacity to command angels to send money to why can't we also employ that to save the country? So I, I am happy that Mr. Balugu has regained his freedom. Yes. We are not afraid. Yes. We have always 
said that point. Yes. So I thank you guys who have stood out, who have expressed solidarity. I also want to thank the media, all media organizations in Nigeria, from the point to Sarah Repas, to the people, to investigative journalism, and all media organizations. No, numerous to me that have made this possible. So thank you once again for coming out to express solidarity with us. Thank you.